In the Canadian high Arctic, this ship meets little resistance ploughing through ice as the summer months turn this frozen wilderness into open sea. The Northwest Passage between the Pacific and the Atlantic Oceans was sought for centuries by explorers and adventurers alike. But with global warming, Arctic sea ice is vanishing at an alarming rate. There's dramatic changes in the overall extent and thickness of ice. Where we used to see heavy multi-year ice uh, many meters thick, uh, now we're seeing much thinner ice and much less ice. Since the first crossing in 1906, the number of vessels has steadily increased. The Associated Press was on board the Finnish icebreaker, the MSV Nordica, as it made the earliest transit ever and at a time of the year when the route is usually blocked. Last year, as an example, uh, this area that we're in now and is completely covered by ice was uh, free of ice, a very rare occurrence. Ice melt in the summer is normal, but scientists and mariners say it's thinner now, disappearing earlier in the summer and returning later in fall. According to the US National Snow and Ice Data Center, Arctic sea ice coverage has dropped by an average of about 34,000 square miles each year since 1979. When a surface is white, it reflects radiation back to space. When that surface goes from white to dark, as occurs when you melt ice, more of that energy is, is absorbed locally. Locally, it's a whole ecosystem that is threatened, from plankton under the ice at the bottom of the food chain, all the way to polar bears and whales. Some of these animals that are highly associated with the ice are not going to be able to adapt in a reasonable amount of time to keep up with climate change at the rate that it's happening. So it's definitely going to impact animals. It's going to impact polar bears' ability to hunt seals. Yet sea ice is just one of several alarming changes. The Nupkangalua fjord near Greenland's capital is one of the largest in the world. The ice sheet here has retreated nearly three miles in the last few years. The melting of the glaciers has different consequences. It has a local, local consequence because of course here we have the fjords with the glaciers, but it also has global consequences because uh, the, the melting of the glaciers leads to global sea level rise. Millions of tons of fresh water entering the ocean could alter currents and impede the Gulf Stream that warms the northern Atlantic. As the world seeks to limit global warming to below the 2 degrees Celsius target set out in the Paris Agreement, in the Arctic Circle it's already well above that. While scientists have long warned this part of the globe would warm first and faster, real-time measurements are proving them right. David Keaton, Associated Press in Nuuk, Greenland.